Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review and today's review is going to be on... War of the Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise Autobot Alliance 2 pack which consists of Prowl and Ironhide Now, just like Skywarp and Thundercracker which I've also reviewed these guys are also exclusives I believe these two are store exclusive. And why do I say that? Well, the box is actually a bit different than, than the other boxes I've uh, I, I had a look at. I mean, here, we can see that in, instead of the window showing the two figures, we instead have the artwork that would normally be on the side here. So yeah, but here we uh, have the standard, uh, I guess, uh, mural of the characters in Earth Rise. Got uh, the characters in both modes. The top of the box. No Galvatron this time, so eh, it's weird. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the box. And inside the box, well, we have this. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> Oops. But we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of that star map thing that Earth Rise uh, did. Usually I don't show the star map uh, gimmick unless it actually has something on it, and well, the last few figures didn't, but thankfully, these guys do. And here it says Nebulon Station. Okay, cool. And well, here it's well, it's it's already cut out, so you don't have have to do it yourself. So that's nice of them. And just something noteworthy. I actually have this. Well, it's a cover box, but it says Hasbro, so I'm pretty sure this is how the figures are shipped to shops and all that. I, I, I'm not sure. I just think it's cool. Well, taking a, a look at the actual figures. Well, Prowl is is well, uh, Prowl is. A recolor of Blue Streak, which is well. Every pro every pro uh, sh shares a mold of Blue Streak, so that's to be expected. And Ironhide is a retool of Siege Ironhide with a newer top bit, which we'll see soon. But for now, let's take a look at uh, Prowl. And of course, he's in his classic Datsun police car mode. Pretty cool. One thing right off the bat that you can see is got pegs in the wheels. Blue Streak also had this, but well, the the hubcaps were actually coloured on that figure. So yeah, I don't know why they did. I don't know why they didn't do that on this guy. So yeah, but, uh, having a three sixty. Yeah, pretty cool. The underneath. Well, I can pretty much just see his head there. Which is, uh, which is uh, uh, hilarious. The top. We well, can see the light bar. Which is actually a removable piece. So, if you do want to put this on Blue Street, then go ahead. And I believe this was also used on a barricade, although that used the smoke screen version of the mold. And yeah. And for a quick comparison, here he is with Blue Streak. 
so you can see the, the, the differences with the mold and you can see what I'm talking about with the colored wheels. But Blue Streak also had these little, or, well, Blue Streak had these uh, uh, little guns here, whereas Proud didn't. And here he is with G1 Prowl, or in this case, the, the commemorative reissue. So we can see some differences here. The main one being, the f -Rise figure doesn't say Highway Patrol on it. But we can also see that it's missing some of the detailing here and... Me personally, I think it would have been cool if it said Highway Patrol on the actual spoiler here. Which, yeah, there's now an added spoiler, which I'm pretty sure is from Smokescreen's uh, version of the molds. The police badge is missing. Got some uh, removed detailing on the, on the hood section. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for that. And for the accessory, well, we have this gun here, pretty much the same as Blue Streaks. And I can just go right there on top. Why a police officer will be gunning down criminals like this? I don't know, it seems a bit impractical to me. But, uh, oh well. Well, it is Blast Effect compatible. So you can just put one right on there if you, if that's a thing you can do so yeah that's pretty much it for prowl now for ironhide well of course he's just a standard uh, van but well we can see some uh, color differences sort of similar to sunstreaker for example, you can see that the window sections are uh, a bit of a lighter red than the rest of the figure. And another thing, we've got the feet just hanging off the back here. And this was also on the Siege version. Granted, on the Siege version, it was more forgivable because it was a Cybertronian van, but this is meant to be the actual uh, Earth fan mode. Ironhide was back in the day, or at least a stylized version of it, so yeah, that is just unforgivable. And well, there are upgrade kits to replace these, but still, I mean, like, like what's, the, what's the point? Is it to make it into a, a, a rocket van or something? I mean, seeing how I've got these like boosters here, maybe that's what they were going for. Uh, well, ignoring that, uh, one thing I've also noticed is the windows here aren't painted, which is unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, the underneath, which uh, pretty standard. And well, the weapon is actually hidden in the vehicle mode, which is cool. So it harkens back to Beast Wars with the hidden weapons. And well, for comparison with this guy, here we have Combiner Wars Ironhide. And well, despite those flaws, I still think that the Earthrise figure is a definite upgrade. I mean, this guy just looks like the movie-verse character in G1 Colors when it comes to the vehicle mode. I mean, you see? How, like, there was even a trail breaker that used this mold in Combiner Wars, so... Yeah, the Combiner Wars figure exists only to make Ironhide in, in, into a Combiner Limb and nothing else. Whereas this guy exists to give you... An actual iron hide for your shelf. Granted, if you have the money, because I did forget to say how much I paid for these two. I don't want to admit that.
Oh well. But well, that's pretty much it for their vehicle modes. I do like, I, I do like the vehicle mode for, uh, for uh, I can't speak today. I do like the vehicle mode for uh, 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 Ironhide, but the visible feet do let it down. And Prowl's vehicle mode is cool, but I feel like the lack of the Highway Patrol uh, uh, lettering does make it seem a bit, a bit blind, but those are just my opinions. Well, uh, let's just get on to the transformations. And look, well, let's start with Prowl. Okay, so I've gotten uh, the other figures for the comparison transforms, so... Um, well, let's just uh, start with Prowl's transformation. And of course, this is just like Blue Streak, who I've reviewed before. And well, it's just like the other figures in, who, who use this mold, so Barricade, Smokescreen... Okay, so those are the other figures who use this mold. But well, let's just start by opening the doors. Get the arms out. Just splay them out like so. Open up the legs like so. Get these little bits down. Then get these little bits out. Rotate the waist. Rotate the head. Push this bit of the hood in. Try and according all this in with like so. Get the arms down. Split the legs. We did doors back so it's a bit more dynamic looking, or at least that's what I do. And here we have Prowl in his robot mode. And yeah, this guy does look pretty cool. And well, we're gonna have a quick look at this guy in robot mode before he transform Ironhide, so. So having a, a 360 of Prowl. Unfortunately, he's got uh, the translucent plastic in the legs that Blue Streak had. So that's unfortunate. He doesn't have the shoulder guns that Blue Streak has. I'm guessing they, they were replaced with the light bar. Having a look at the head. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same head as Blue Streak. If I just get Blue Streak out for a comparison. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the exact same head. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Prowl, for now at least. Now let's move on to Ironhide. Now starting with Ironhide requires a bit of parts forming. Yeah, I know, but eh, oh well. What you actually have to do is just remove this entire top section off the vehicle mode. And that, well, his gun is hiding in here. And this, pretty sure this is meant to be his, uh, uh, like, uh, battle uh, station gun from the G1 figure. So if you want to have, like, the original G1 battle station just uh, without the treads, then go ahead. But uh, I'm going to set this 
off to the side for now because there are a few configurations that you can uh, do with it, but we'll get that soon. But to start with Ironhide, we're gonna open up these uh, leg compartments, lift up the arms, and just close these back up, or, or at least uh, that's what I do. Fold these panels over, and I'm pretty sure they at least sort of amended it. Well, the uh, amended uh, problem where these always fall off on this version, or at least made it so it doesn't, it doesn't fall off quite as much. It still falls off, but it's much more round in this version. This bumper section opens up. And this just rotates around. The legs just open up and these just push in like so. The arms open up like so. The head just flips around. And now you can just close the windshield. Just pick that in. Just transform the arms like so. And here we have Ironhide in his robot mode. And yeah. Aside from the bit where he removed the little, uh, I'll call it a shield section, it's pretty much just like a Siege Ironhide. So I just have a 360. And a quick look at his head. I can just hear this guy saying, But Prime! <laughs> so yeah. Now having a look at the two together in robot mode. <coughs> And I just got something stuck in my throat, sorry. But, oh well. And well, in robot mode, these two look really good together. And, well, that's without weaponry. If I just give, oh, if I give Prowl his gun, and and if I give, well, and if I give Ironhide both the gun and this thing, which, well, does quite a bit of transformation, as in, you have to fold up these little uh, windshield sections. And this is optional, but you can push these little booster sections out. And from here, you do have some options. You can just store this on Einheim's back if you don't want to use it. Even though it just, well, it just look, it looks like a cape. You can just use it as an entire arm shield. For when Megatron and the Decepticons attack the, the ship. You know, like, when Prowl just spews smoke. Remember that scene? <laughs> or, he can hold it as some sort of, like, a grenade launcher. Like this. And, and you can't, can't put blast effects in here, but... Well, these aren't really good blast effects to put in here because, you know, they're more like little laser effects instead of, like, actual blasts. But the one I prefer to do for this guy is the shield on the arm. I just put it... Well, I, I, I just prefer to put it right on the shoulder like this. I think it sort of like makes him lean to the side, as you can see, but it, 
if you have the legs that are stable, then that's not an issue. So yeah. Now, for a comparison... Here we have Blue Street. And, well, he's just uh, completely uh, staring upwards. But well, with Blue Streak, so you can see the color differences. So, so there we go. And here he is with G1 Prowl. Of course, you won't probably actually had the shoulder guns. And if, if anything, I, I think G1 Prowl is actually a bit more detailed. But you can still see where they got all the inspiration. Like the wheels on the back of the shoulders. The entire back of the car. Well, well the back of the robot has the car windshield. The door wings. The back of the car is the legs. You can definitely see where they got the inspiration for the figure. It, yeah, this, I'm pretty sure this is more toy inspired than cartoon inspired, actually. Though, don't quote me on that. The one thing I, I have noticed is like the headlights are different than the G1 figure. If you can notice that. And well, for Ironhide. Here he is with Combiner Wars Ironhide. And well, yeah, no competition. I just think this is a better figure than this guy. Even with the, the panels, which m might not even be an, an issue on this guy, or at least for my copy, I think the Airfrights version is a much better uh, figure. I mean, if anything, I think this mold like only works for like first aid and, and off road because they're actually meant to be combiners. So yeah. Now, blast effect compatibility aside from the weapons. Well, Prowl does have some uh, pores on the shoulders. It, it is pretty much the same as Blue Streaks. So he's got some on the shoulders, got one right on his left forearm. Fit that there. And of course, you can put that on the gun if you want to. If you just want to have a. If you like to display the figures with the firing. But I have seen reports where that's not ideal. And for Ironhide, I'm just uh, looking here. Oh, yep. On the shoulders. That yeah, doesn't seem to be going on, so. Even though there is a port there, it doesn't seem to be uh, long enough for the bus effect port to go on. So that's unfortunate. Or of course you can put one right here to make it look like someone's shooting at the shield. If you really want to. So yeah. Now for the figure's articulation. I'll just remove the gun for this quickly. For Prowl, it's just like Blue Streak, as I keep saying. So we've got the head, which on my copy is quite tight, but it is there. The arms can move, although they will be blocked by the doors. We do have the outward, so of course. We have the good old T-pose. We have elbows, which of course can swivel. The hands can swivel. The waist can swivel due to the transformation. 
legs can go forward that far, back about that far, got the splits here, and we've got an amazing uh, pivot. I, I, I guess if you want to the if you want to display the wings like this, then you can. But I just think this is more dynamic. I guess we do have some foot art articulation if you want, and this can swivel. So yeah, quite articulated. And for iron hide, if I just remove these to get these out of the way. Well, his head can also rotate. If you use that joint, then he can uh, look downwards. Jump's gonna go 360. We, of course, have the T pose. Got elbows which can swivel, the hands can swivel. The waist can swivel, and it seems to be quite tight. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, split an ankle pivot. Got knees, and knees can swivel as well. So yeah, these guys are both quite articulated. So if you want to like pose them with like laser feet, and of course I've got to show that earlier. So if you want to like pose them with like laser feet or shooting at the septicons or recreate their dash from the G1 movie, that's all possible. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say about these guys. So, complaints. Well, with Prowl, I wish the vehicle mode had a bit more detail. For example, the Highway Patrol stuff that the G1 figure had. Because I just think that the vehicle mode looks a bit bland, in my opinion. Other than that, I, I actually quite like Prowl. I mean, the translucent plastic does suck as well, that's something I forgot to mention. I think that I think there are reports that like the vehicle one can sometimes not tie together, but that's still been an issue for my copy of Prowl. Now for Ironhide, while the visible feet in the vehicle mode is definitely an issue. I mean, if they'd like redesigned the feet so it looked more like the the back of the vehicle mode, then yeah, that would have uh, be way cooler. I I also don't well, I also think that the color matching's a, a bit off, as I mentioned earlier. But well, that's pretty much all, all I have to say about these guys. So, do you, I, I recommend them? Well, I would say yes, but I did say that these guys are exclusive at the start of the video, and as such, they are hard to find now. So, I, I do like these guys, but I'd say wait until you find these guys for a good price before you pick them up. That's... That's all, all, all I have to say, pretty much. If you find these guys at a good price, then yeah, go ahead and pick them up. Because, well, I was just too eager to to wait for, to find these guys for a low price. I was just way too eager, so... Yeah. <sighs> oh, well. At least these guys are in my... At least these guys are in my possession now, so... Well, this has been my review on Earthrise Prowl and Ironhide, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.